In this video, I'm going to show you a very interesting topic which is called as image masking. Let's get started. Image masking is a technique using which you can convert your image to a particular shape. For example, I have this image and if I want to make a different shape of this object or this image, I have to just go to image masking in the toolbar. This is called as mask image. Click here and you have multiple options. For example, you have shapes wherein you can choose various shapes or you have arrows, you have callout and equation. Let me just show you one by one. For example, if I just go to shapes and let's say that I want this oval shape. If I click on this oval shape, you see now this particular image now looks like a oval shape. Similarly, if I go to this image, I can go to mask image and I can choose a particular option. In this case, I can keep it as oval, but just to show you, let me just select different option. For example, let me just select this particular cube. And if I select this, now you have converted your image to a particular cube. And now you have this particular image. In fact, don't get confused that this is a text. Actually, this is an image where some text is written. And if you want to convert this to let's say callout, I'll just go to mask image. And now I'll go to callouts. And now let me just select anyone. For example, I can select this second one. And now you see that now it is changed to callouts. It is not visible. So what I'll do is I'll just add a border color. Let me add a particular dark gray color. Let me add a particular weight also, for example, four pixel. And now you see that if I just bring this point, in fact, you can just turn this point or what I can do is just select this image, just give right click and either you can rotate this image. Let's say I rotate it by 90 degree or you can flip it horizontally, vertically or you can rotate it anti-clockwise 90 degree. Let me just select this, rotate it and now you see that it is showing a perfect way and even through this particular option, I can also shift it. So this is how you see that I can use callout. Similarly, I'll just take this particular image and I'll just go to mask image and I'll just go to callout and this time I'm going to select this first one rectangular and again, if it is not visible, I mean the borders are not visible, I'll just select a particular color for the border. I'll give a particular border weight, let's say four pixel. So this is the practical uses of this particular image masking. Now let's show that I have two images. Here, if I just go to this image masking, now I can go to a different shape. This time what I'm going to do is, I'll just select for example, heart shape. And now you see that you have converted your image to a heart shape. Similarly, for dog, let me just go to a particular shape. And this time, I want to add this as a teardrop. Now you see, I have added this as teardrop. And even at the corner, you can just extend it and you can make it to a different shape altogether. So in this way, you can use the image masking feature of Google Slides. So that's it in this video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel in case if you have not subscribed it. And this video was the part of our Google Slides tutorial series. And if you want to watch all the videos, then go back to our channel. You have the playlist. In the playlist, we have the complete Google tutorial series. All right. So that's it in this video. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.